टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस जेट ट्रांसफॉर्म्स एप्लीकेशन टू डिफरेंट इक्वेशंस सो बिफोर सॉल्विंग द प्रॉब्लम्स वी हैव टू नो द सम नोटेशंस जेट ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ वाई एन इज इक्वल टू कैपिटल वाई ऑफ जेड सिमिलरली जेट ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ वाई एन प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू जेड ऑफ वाई ऑफ जेड माइनस वाई ऑफ जीरो सिमिलर जेड ट्रांसफॉर्म ऑफ वाई एन प्लस टू इज इक्वल टू जेड स्क्वायर इन टू वाई ऑफ जेड माइनस वाई ऑफ जीरो माइनस वाई वन वाई जेड सो दिस दीज थ्री नोटेशन विल बी वेरी यूजफुल फॉर यू इन सॉल्विंग द डिफरेंस इक्वेशंस लेट अस कंसीडर वन प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व वाई एन प्लस वन माइनस टू टाइम्स ऑफ वाई एन इज इक्वल टू जीरो सो फर्स्ट वाट यू हैव टू डू इज द अप्लाइंग द जेड ट्रांसफॉर्म्स बोथ साइड्स so taking z transform both sides that is nothing but z transform of the yn plus 1 minus 2 times of z transform of yn according to the linearity property 2 times of z transform yn is equal to 0 so z transform of yn plus 1 means already we have defined z transform of yn plus 1 is this much therefore z into y of z minus y of 0 minus 2 times of z transform of yn is equal to capital y of z so is equal to 0 so now you take y of z as common therefore you left with here is z so y of z multiple is 2 therefore here y of z into z minus 2 is equal to whatever the terms you left with in the left hand side move to the right hand side that means z into y of 0 move to the right hand side plus z y not now y of z is equal to y not into z by z minus 2 now applying the z inverse both sides z inverse of y of z is equal to y not into z inverse of z by z minus 2 so z inverse of y of z means yn is equal to y not into z inverse of z by z minus 2 is nothing but 2 power n so this is the way to solve the difference equations okay next You can see one more problem. Solve y n plus two minus seven times of y n plus one plus twelve times of y n is equal to zero, where y not is equal to one, y one is equal to two. Okay, taking jet transforms both sides. Jet transform of y n plus two minus jet seven times of jet transform y n plus one plus twelve times of jet transform y n is equal to zero. Jet transform y n plus 2 means z square into capital y of z minus small y of 0 y1 by z z transform y n plus 1 minus 7 times of z into capital y of z minus y of 0 plus 12 times of capital y of z is equal to 0 in the next step what you have to do is the always you take capital y of z as common so if you take y of z is common you left with here z square next y of z term is it here it is the term y of z minus 7 z that means minus 7 z here it is y of z coefficient 12 therefore 12 so what are the terms you left with in the left hand side move to the right hand side z square y not on the right hand side it is plus z square y not similarly plus z square y1 by z similarly minus minus into minus plus plus move to the right hand side minus minus 7z y not you left with so we have y of 0 is equal to 1 and y1 is equal to 2 so that means what happens so you, you can say the next term y of 0 is equal to 1 here it is 1 that means you come across the z square this term will become z square next one y1 is equal to 2 y1 is equal to 2 means here i have substituted y1 is equal to 2 z square by z means z z into 2 2z okay similarly 7z into y not y not is equal to 1 therefore minus 7z or you can take the y not common and y1 common just to go for the substitution we left with this one z square minus 7z plus 2z that is nothing but z square minus 
फाइव जेड सो देर फॉर वाई ऑफ जेड इज इक्वल जेड स्क्वेयर माइनस फाइव जेड बाई दिस वन आई एम मूविंग टू द राइट हैंड साइड देर फॉर जेड स्क्वेयर माइनस सेवन जेड प्लस टू प्लस ट्वेल्व ओके सो नेक्स्ट दिस प्रॉब्लम कम्स हाउ यू हैव सॉल्व इन द पार्शल फ्रैक्शन मॉडल नाउ यू हैव टू डू अडाप्ट द प्रीवियस मॉडल हाउ टू सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम इन द पार्शल फ्रैक्शन so try to write it as y of z by z that means you take common here z therefore what happens here it is z minus 5 you left with in the numerator z square minus 7z plus 12 so now you consider z minus 5 by z square minus 7z plus 12 and split into the partial fractions so on multiplication you have to get a 12 on addition you have to get 7 on multiplication 12 and addition 7 multiplication 12 means 4 threes minus 4 minus 3 so minus 7 therefore z minus 3 into z minus 4 you can write it as so this i am writing it as a by z minus 3 plus b by z minus 4 a by z minus 3 plus b by z minus 4 therefore if you take the lcm and simplify z minus 5 is equal to a times of z minus 4 plus b times of z minus 3 Now you can say z is equal to four. Four minus five minus one. This term will vanish. Four minus three one. Therefore b. Therefore b is equal to minus one. If you can say z is equal to three, this term will vanish. Three minus five minus two. Three minus four minus one minus c. That is equal to a is equal to two. Therefore z minus five by z minus three into z minus four can be written as a. 2 by z minus 3 plus b b stands for minus 1 therefore minus 1 by z minus 4 so this is nothing but cap f of z by z or y of z by z so now f of z is equal to this z i am moving to the right hand side therefore two times of z by z minus 3 minus z by z minus 4 Now you apply the z inverse both sides. Z inverse of f of z is equal to two times of z inverse of z by z minus three minus z inverse of z by z minus four. So what happens here? Three power n. This is this is four power n. Therefore, two into three power n minus four power n. This is nothing but y n. Therefore, this is the simplification. How to solve the problem using the partial fractions or applications to the differential equation difference equations next you consider one more problem solve yn plus 2 plus 4 times of yn plus 1 plus 3 times of yn is equal to 3 power n y not is equal to 0 y1 is equal to 1 so here you come across the 3 power n on the right hand side same you have to adopt the same procedure taking z transforms both sides the transform of yn plus 2 plus 4 times of z transform of yn plus 1 plus 3 times of z transform of yn is equal to z transform of 3 power n so z square yn plus 2 therefore z square into y of z minus small y of 0 minus small y1 by z plus 4 times of z into y of z minus y of 0 here it is 3 into capital y of z g equal to z by z minus 3. Now you consider you take y of z as common. Therefore, you left with z square term, 4 z term, and 3 z square plus 4 z plus 3. You move to the remaining terms to the right hand side. Therefore, what happens? Z by z minus 3 already it is there. Z square y not. Here it is minus z square y not. Move to the right hand side. Plus z square y not. Here it is minus z square y one by z. So z z z square y one by z plus. Next here it is four z y not minus four z y not. So on the right hand side it is plus four z y not. Okay. So here y not is equal to zero. Y one is equal to one. Y not zero means this term will vanish. This term will vanish. Only left with this one. Z by z minus three. Y of one is equal to one. Z square by z means z. Z into one z. Okay. 
this if you consider the lcm z plus z into z minus 3 by z minus 3 therefore y of z into z square plus 4z plus 3 is equal to z square minus 2z by z minus 3 comma cross with that is nothing but y of z is equal to z square minus 2z by z minus 3 into z square plus 4z plus 3 now this problem you can do using the partial fractions so in the partial fractions you have to do y of z by z try to write this one as y of z by z g equal to here come across with z minus 2 by z minus 3 into z plus 3 into z plus 1 that means z square plus 4z plus 3 on multiplication 3 addition 4 that means 3 ones are 3 on addition you are going to get 4 therefore z plus 3 into z plus 1 this can be written as a by z minus 3 plus b by z plus 3 plus c by z plus 1 If you consider the LCM and simplify, you are going to get like this. Now we consider z is equal to minus one. Z is equal to minus one. This term will vanish. This term will vanish. So minus one minus two. Left hand side minus three. Minus one into mi minus one minus three minus four. Minus one plus three. Minus one plus three means plus two. Minus four into two minus eight c. That implies c is equal to three by eight. Similarly, z is equal to minus three. Consider z is equal to minus three. This term will vanish. This term also will vanish. So what you left with is this one. Okay. On the left hand side, minus three minus two minus five. Here it is minus three minus three minus six. Minus six minus three plus one. Minus two. Minus six into minus two plus twelve times of b. Therefore, b is equal to minus five by twelve. If you consider z is equal to three, you are going to get a is equal to one by twenty-four. Now we substitute the values. Z by minus two by z minus three into z plus three into z plus one is equal to a is one by twenty-four into z minus three plus b. B stands for five by twelve. Minus five by twelve into z plus three. C is three by eight into z plus one. Therefore, y of z by z is equal to this much. Therefore, y of z is equal to one by twenty-four into z inverse of z by z minus three minus five by twelve into z inverse of z by z plus three. Here it is z by z plus three. Here it is z by z plus one. Here it is. I have written only one by z plus three. This is not one by z plus three. Here it is z by z plus three. Here it is also z by z plus one. So then here it is three power n. Here it is minus three power n. This is minus one power n. Next, solve six times of y n plus two minus y n plus one minus y n is equal to zero. Here y not zero. Y one is equal to one. So six times of z transform of y n plus two minus z transform of y n plus one minus z transform of y n is equal to zero. That means six times of z square into y of z minus y of zero minus y of one by z minus z into y of z minus y of zero minus capital y of z is equal to zero. Now you take y of z common. Here you left with six z square. Here minus z, here it is minus one. All the remaining terms you move to the right hand side. Six z square y naught plus six z square y naught. Next plus six z square y one by z. Next minus into minus plus plus move to the right hand side minus minus z y naught. So y naught is equal to zero. Therefore these two terms will vanish. Z square by Z means you left with Z. Six Z by Y one is equal to one. Therefore six Z by six Z square minus Z minus one. Y of Z value. Now you try to write it in in terms of Y of Z by Z is equal to six by. This you can write as the denominator as two Z minus one into three Z plus one. This six by two Z minus one into three Z plus one can be written as a by two Z minus one. Plus b by three z plus one. So if you simplify, 
and take the LCM, you are going to get like this. If you consider Z is equal to 1 by 2, you will have A is equal to, you are left with 12 by 5. If Z is equal to minus 1 by 3, B is equal to minus 18 by 5. Therefore, 6 by 2Z minus 1 into 3Z plus 1 can be written as A. A stands for 12 by 5. A stands for 12 by 5 into 2, 1 by 2z minus 1. B stands for minus 18 by 5 into 1 by 3z plus 1. Therefore, y of z by z is equal to this much. Therefore, z inverse of y of z means z you have to move to the right hand side. Here I didn't write like this. But it is z is there here. Here also z is there. Therefore, z inverse of here I have taken the 2 common, z minus 1 by 2. Here 3 I have taken common. So 2, 12 will get cancelled and you will be left with 6. Here 18 by 3, you will be left with 6 in the numerator. So here it is, z is there, here it also z is there. Therefore, 6 by 5 into 1 by 2 power n minus 6 by 5 into minus 1 by 3 whole power n. This is the way of solving the applications to different equations in using jet transforms. Thank you.